origami is a bit like origami in that it's a Japanese art form that uses paper folding, except with kirigami you actually cut and fold the paper to make the shape. This origami is Rosemary's Baby, which is the Dakota building in New York. And as you can see, there's probably around 400 different holes in there to create the windows and railings. And uh, when I was doing the final model, I'd go all the way through and I literally cut out the last one on my knife slit and uh, I had to start again. But that's, that's the nature of origami. To make a kirigami model, you need to make sure that you have a sharp knife, a steel ruler, and the type of paper that I use is 210 GSM, which is not so thick, but thick enough that it can hold the model shape when you've cut and folded it. I've done a series of haunted houses because horror films have always been hugely important to me. When I was growing up, my older brother and I were really different characters, but the one thing that really bonded us was horror films. I have good memories of watching these films with my brother, so I decided that I would do a whole body of work on it. So this is the origami, kirigami, that I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make. The basic principle of creating origami is that you're extruding shapes from the paper. And how you do that is you always start with the main fold, which is your horizon. And as you can see here, we're just creating these rectangular shapes coming out. <laughs> The process of actually designing it, I normally watch the film a couple of times, take a few screen grabs of it, I use my notebook and make a, a basic sketch of the building and then I just sort of, I just launch straight into it. So what I'm doing here is starting to cut out our little zombie character. I'm starting with the rib cage and you know, you must make sure that you do slow and controlled cuts. The actual process of making horigami is, is quite lengthy. You need to take your time, never rush anything because it's so easy to make a mistake. You know, if I'm cutting with a blade and suddenly it just slips or breaks a little element, then you've got to, you've got to start again. I'd like to pretend that I'm really calm about it when that happens, but the reality is I screw it up into a ball and have a massive tantrum and then start again. This origami is the Monster's Mansion from the original TV show. I really love the detail on this one because of the complexity of the banisters and also the little bat weather vane because that was a, quite a prominent feature in the opening titles of the show. So the final stage, once you've done all your cutting and scoring, is to fold the model and again just take your time doing this because at this stage anything can go wrong and you can end up having to start again. Making Kirigami models is definitely going to be something that I'm going to keep working on. I actually left my full-time job as head of design for an advertising agency back in April to do this project and if it's a success then I don't see why not. I th it's, it's great though that I've you know, turned a hobby into something that could potentially be some, that something that I do full time. It's really, really exciting. And then lastly, I'm just going to tip up my little zombie character. And there you go. You're on. You're on.